I'm very excited to introduce our next speaker, uh, Cristiano Oman, who's president at Qualcomm. And as you may be aware, uh, Qualcomm is driving most all of the smartphone chip innovations out there related to 5G. And I'm super excited to hear what Cristiano is going to be talking about. Yeah, Qualcomm is doing a lot of very interesting things. And beyond just the smartphones, they're involved in so many other parts of the connectivity tissue that we are enjoying and utilizing each and every day. But let's not steal the show. Let's kick this over to Cristiano. Hello, everyone. I'm Christian Oman, president of Qualcomm. It's really great to be here as part of the 6-5 Summit. I want to start by saying that our thoughts are we're all impacted by COVID-19, and I hope everyone is staying safe. As I come to you from home, one thing this unprecedented situation has made it clear is that connectivity is an essential part of our daily lives and the global economy. It impacts how we work, how we entertain ourselves and how we stay connected with family and friends. And it's allowing us to do this here today. With the pandemic has come a tremendous increase in data traffic, reinforcing the need for 5G. And with 5G, wireless has become the superior connectivity technology providing greater performance and capacity, unlocking new services and experiences that serve to make the world more resilient in the face of global challenges. And 5G commercialization is accelerating across the globe. We really applaud the ecosystem's incredible efforts and progress during this extraordinary times. It did not slow down 5G. In just over a year, 70 operators have launched 5G networks with over 310 more investing in the technology right now. This includes deployments in millimeter wave and sub-6 spectrum, and Qualcomm projects 750 million 5G smartphones that will ship in 2022. One year later, 5G connections are forecast to surpass 1 billion, doing so two years faster than what happened in 4G. And by 2025, 5G connections are expected to reach nearly 3 billion connections globally. We're also entering a new era of intelligent cloud connectivity powered by 5G and AI. Everything will be seamlessly connected to the cloud and to each other. Devices will be inseparable from the content, the data, and the computing power in storage, which is available in the cloud, driving innovation and much greater efficiency. All of it fueled by 5G fiber-like speeds and low latency, and advanced processing capabilities that are allowing us to bring new levels of intelligence to all the devices at the edge. The combination of 5G and AI will impact virtually every aspect of our daily lives. But in order to scale AI, we must focus on driving distributed intelligence throughout the network. Today, intelligence resides in the cloud and increasingly on the device itself. But it's simply not practical to send everything to the cloud with the expected massive amount of data from billions of edge devices. So we're moving processing content and control closer to where the traffic is to really create the edge cloud. Reducing latency to fuel new applications and services, increasing performance, personalization and security, and bringing greater value to devices at the edge of the networks. And I agree. Real world example of this approach is what Verizon is doing with their 5G Edge platform. Verizon 5G Edge platform brings together Verizon's 5G network with AWS cloud services to fuel innovation at the edge. Extending from the AWS cloud, Verizon's 5G Edge computing platform integrates AWS capabilities on its 5G networks, allowing customers and developers to now create and deploy applications they will take advantage of 5G latency as well as speeds for applications running at the edge, enabling single digit millisecond latency across mobile and connected devices. In those use cases powered by machine learning will create a lot new applications that will range from autonomous industrial equipment, smart cars, virtual reality devices, and much more. And we believe 5G will be essential to build a more resilient society. 
at Qualcomm, we often said that 5G will be like electricity. It will simply be expected to be there wherever we are. We won't be discussing the use cases anymore. We just can assume it's there because we need it. And with the recent months, it had revealed to us that the need for powerful, secure, and reliable connectivity is right now. In order to create greater resilience for the society and the economy, we need that to support education, healthcare, and social interactions. Let's just look more closely the ways the 5G will impact each one of those segments. In education, 5G can make education more resilient. By late April 2020, 1.7 billion students were studying remotely, and the move to online coursework has brought greater attention to broadband gap that exists in education. 5G can help connect all the students. Enable learning that can happen anywhere with access to high quality intelligence personalized content and real-time interactivity. 5G PCs will be a powerful solution for connected education. And Qualcomm calls on operators around the world to join the 17 that already launch or plan to support 5G PCs. This can help the society narrow the digital divide gap and ensure the next generation is really prepared for the future. 5G can also help create a more resilient healthcare system. In the United States, over 1 billion virtual care visits are projected this year. And this trend is likely to be permanent with 50% of the United States healthcare services expected to be conducted virtually by 2030. The future of healthcare is always connected data rich, cloud enabled, secure and reliable, and will be powered by 5G. Supporting high quality video, massive data, real time interaction. For example, EMT doing imaging or video with real time connection to the emergency room physician to augment care. The goal is to expand access, improve outcomes and reduce costs for a sector that represents almost 10% of the global GDP. But beyond, social presence has become even more important during these times. It's clear now that connectivity is keeping us connected, and we all experience the need to be connected with family and friends. But with 5G, we'll have much richer and more persistent social interactions. It starts with video, and it will evolve to include mixed reality, virtual reality, augmented reality, creating new levels of lifelike interactions they're more realistic and satisfying. This helps to keep relationships strong and enhance cohesion. Roughly a decade ago, the industry was talking about this future. It just has arrived right now. And 5G will of course be essential to building a more resilient economy. When we connected the phone to the internet, people had not yet imagined applications and companies like Uber. It was mobile technology that enabled Uber to exist. 5G will play an important and a similar role in economic development, providing the technology foundation that will help countries transition to more innovation-like driven economies and complete their process of digital transformation. Unlocking innovation across entire supply chains from resources to retail, making cities smarter and more efficient. According to the IHS, the economic impact of 5G is expected to be vast, enabling up to 13.2 trillion in goods and services by 2035. This underscores the significant impact 5G will have beyond the mobile industry. And 5G will transform work and support a growing mobile workforce. Enterprise workflows are moving to the cloud and becoming more intelligent to optimize data management. These systems must support workplace everywhere as connectivity fuels productivity. 5G will be essential, allowing employees to stay connected to corporate databases, public and private clouds, and more. After the experience of recent months, 84% of companies are at least somewhat likely to have employees continue to work from home. And robust 5G connectivity will be key to helping them stay productive. And as we look ahead, we see 5G fueling the future of how we work. Companies are now rethinking digital and physical spaces as they look to reduce the need for office space and air travel. 
XR and holographic telepresence will enable exciting new ways to engage with colleagues and customers, powering virtual collaborations from a shared holographic space where they can work in real time and still feel connected. These virtual collaborations will be powered by 5G and pervasive cloud platforms that will be accessible from virtually anywhere make the home an extension of the enterprise. All of this translates to greater productivity and efficiency. And these new capabilities will open the door to an expanded set of opportunities for the global economy. The impact of 5G to virtually every industry will be significant and far-reaching as well as disruptive, enabling new business models, new services, new ways to engage customers, supporting the future of manufacturing and industry 4.0, providing ultra-reliable, low-latency connectivity for industrial automation and control, while accelerating the future transportation and logistics with connected intelligent vehicles and much more. We will see innovations that we have not yet imagined. And a mix of deployment models will be needed to realize the vision for 5G. Public mobile networks will serve as the foundation for 5G, providing the performance and capacity needed to power an incredible array of applications and services. But there is a growing need for private networks that provide optimized, secure services and greater flexibility with special applications for the enterprise and the industrial sector, supporting everything from industrial automation to intelligent configurable factories to the modern connected enterprise. We also see fixed wireless broadband play an important role in providing cost-effective coverage for home and the enterprise. And Qualcomm is bringing 5G and Wi-Fi 6 together in devices to drive these opportunities across all the segments. And all of this can only be done with Spectrum. And a Spectrum is and will continue to be critical to unlock the true potential of 5G. 5G needs spectrum across all bands, low, mid, and high bands. In low bands, today they support the widespread coverage of 5G. And the mid bands provide a balance of coverage, capacity, and performance. But millimeter wave bands is essential to achieve multi-gigabit data rates in the performance of wireless fiber. The massive capacity need for next generation immersive experience in the similar enterprise cloud connectivity, as well as new industries will require millimeter wave. And based on real world data captured by the OCLA speed tests during the first quarter of this year on 5G devices, it's very clear. The average speed for 5G millimeter wave in the United States it's 900 megabits per second in average, four times faster than sub-6 5G. And peak speeds in the order of two gigabits per second. Millimeter wave momentum continues to increase with more now than 120 operators investing in the spectrum bands. 5G is not about sub-6 or millimeter wave. It's about all of it. And that's how 5G has been designed, and that's how we're going to get to its full potential. And we as a company remain laser focused on leading the world to 5G, inventing breakthrough technologies and products fueling this new era. Our platforms and solutions have helped to empower and expand the ecosystem to new industries and accelerate innovation globally. 5G is for everyone, and everyone will get to experience the benefits of 5G as we drive forward around the world. This is why Qualcomm exists. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you and stay safe.